I'm just gonna come right out and say it. The invitation sucks. And no, it's not because it's a vampire movie, it's genuinely a piece of shit. When I first saw the trailer for The Invitation, I thought, this looks kind of compelling, interesting, mysterious, how is this young woman going to get out of this situation? After seeing the movie, it turns out the answer was right in front of her face all along. She should have used basic common sense. I don't honestly know where to begin with this, what, Sheila? Oh, Sheila has an invitation for you. Oh, that's fun. It's to subscribe to the channel, Adam Does Movies. Because I post tons of movie reviews each and every week on this show and I'm a one man operation with no budget. So the least you could do is subscribe here. Keep me going. I mean, this isn't an invitation. We, this is a bill. This is a, this is a monthly statement for my internet. That's depressing. Natalie Emanuel plays one of my favorite Pokemon characters, Eevee. She works a dead end job in New York and can't pay her rent. She has no money, no prospects, no ring on that finger, and an annoying friend who wants her to take a gene test to see if maybe there's someone in the family that has some money to give her. That's not why they do it. Uh, but that ends up being kind of a convenient thing for her. Because as a matter of fact, she is related to a very wealthy family in Europe. She doesn't know these people, but she put herself out there and went to meet her cousin for a nice $200 lunch. On her budget of zero dollars, that just makes sense. To be fair, I'm sure the cousin picked up the tab because he was very willing to pay for her to fly out to Europe to go to a wedding. This is where red flags start to come up and common sense goes completely out the window for Evie. She decides on a whim, yeah, what the hell, I have nothing to lose, let's go to Europe. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? It's not like there's a major sex trade going on, right? Where they take young women in the prime of their lives, pull them across the country and, well, yeah. That's not the case for Evie though. Things are far worse, but not right away. And by right away, I mean the first hour and 15 minutes of this film. Nothing happens. This is some slow roll boring shit and I had to sit there and take it. If you're an unironic fan of Twilight and an even bigger fan of Fifty Shades of Grey, you're gonna love the invitation. It takes the worst parts of both of those film franchises, squeezes them into one shit fest of a film. Thomas Doherty plays Gray. I mean Edward. I mean Walter. A billionaire that has nothing but time on his hands to devote to our young Evie. Make her feel special, like a real woman. It's every teenage girl and middle-aged woman's fantasy to be swept off their feet, taken into the countryside where they're showered with praises and gifts and people waiting on them hand and foot. And they even get to feel like Cinderella. Have a dress made for them. Love letters on the pillows. It's all here in the invitation. You know what's not here? Fucking vampires. We have like 20 minutes of vampire stuff. To make matters worse, this movie's PG-13. So if you liked Fifty Shades of Grey for the softcore porn, you're not getting that. If you like Twilight for the occasional action scene and some blood, not really getting that either, not until the way end. What you get here is a lot of Evie wandering around the castle grounds like Belle trying to figure out what the beast is up to. Except for in that case, that movie's charming, whimsical, and magical. This is none of those either. This is dry, boring, dull, lifeless, and has nothing really of value to say or offer to the audience. Yet it went to theaters because Sony, the king of fucking bad movies, is bringing another one your way. Let's talk pros. Natalie Emanuel, beautiful. Beautiful woman. She's giving me shades of Jessica Alba. I mean, what do you want me to say? Genetics did her well. That's it for the pros. We're done. The cons are pretty much everything else. Remember that dinner scene in the trailer where everybody's holding the masks up and they're doing the stupid thing with their fingers like they're holding up the Hunger Games symbol for the Mockingjay? That's here for that one scene and never again. We don't even really know what it means. Doesn't matter. Why were they even wearing the masks? Who fucking knows? Evie's supposed to be going to this place for a wedding, yet she never sees the bride or groom. I'm supposed to be rooting for Evie, but she's a dumbass. She's late on her rent payments. So what does she do? Blows out a Dodge. Apparently she doesn't have a job to worry about. She's in wine country for a week or so. How am I supposed to relate to you, Evie? I guess I'm not. I'm not the young girls that were sitting a couple rows back, giggling, ooing and eyeing the whole film. Like, oh, are they gonna kiss? Oh, is he gonna stick it in her? Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait either. For this movie to be over. To make matters worse, you can't even really laugh at this film until the final act. There's just nothing happening at all to make fun of. And then we see some CG fire, comical special effects, terrible action scenes that don't last very long. And yeah, I got a chuckle out of that. That was fun. That was fine. But again, short lived. I would rather watch Halle Berry's Catwoman because I'm laughing my ass off from beginning to end. Here though, I'm getting nothing but boredom out of it. 
and I have no clue what dumbass over at Sony decided in their infinite wisdom to give this a PG-13 rating. But man, was that the bad call. A film about vampires who are creepy and suck blood and kill and maim and do all sorts of gross crap. You're gonna give me a PG-13 on that? So anytime there is a murder, it's off camera? Or it's just a quick cliched pull away into the shadows? She goes under the bed at one point. I knew exactly what they're gonna do. We've seen it 45 times already. She's gonna crawl towards it, stop, look around, and then go backwards. I didn't see it in the trailer, but I bet it is in the trailer. I bet it's in the trailer. Part of me wants to spoil the ending, but another part of me says, who cares, Adam? They shouldn't see this film, and if they do, that's their own fault. So I won't. It's dumb. That's it. It's dumb. Whole movie's dumb. Don't see it. Don't watch it. Don't think about it ever again, and it'll go away. We don't want sequels to this. I can tell you that much right now. I don't need a Fifty Shades of Twilight. Well, there you have it. My thoughts on another Sony gem, The Invitation. Rip that thing up. Throw it away. Don't even think about it accepting that invite. Don't RSVP to this wedding. If you unfortunately were like me and already attended, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Did you have those early warning signs that I did that this blushing bride wasn't meant to walk down the aisle? If so, you're a wise person, much smarter than I was. I wanna hear about it. Let me know, like the video if you had some fun. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. I post tons of movie reviews, rants, reactions, things of that nature each and every week. Would love to have you here for it. Take care. Since you're still here, maybe think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. I have a $1 tier, $5, $20. You can say, Adam, I think you're great. Here's a cup of coffee. Here's a, here's a five spot. Go get yourself something nice at Starbucks. Not too nice, because $5, five dollars doesn't even cover much there anymore. You can also find me trying to keep up with the youth. I'm on TikTok at Adam Does Movies. You can find me on Twitch at Adam Does Movies. I'm putting myself out there for you to accept, so. I mean, open arms, accept me. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>